at that time. So he, Dr. Abi, 2 April 2018, he become Prime Minister of the Topia. But that time he was powerful. He can change a lot of things. He can negotiate with uh, with the majority or minority ethnic like tribe in Ethiopia. But he didn't do that all that. Abi, when he come in power in Ethiopia, and already what he do, he started like get like a pre noble. That's when he was playing. He was make peace in all that region between Eritrea, Ethiopia, and you can say Somalia and Djibouti. He was acting like he gonna make peace in. He is man of the peace for that region. So he was showing he was the best man to make peace in East Africa. But he was not like he wanted. That was like for sure. The around the world, he's, he is like the man who believe who can make peace. But it's not like that. When he got his pre Nobel, after nine months, he started to do war with the TPLF. And when you have like Ethiopia, is a big country, and when you are prime minister, you know you're gonna face a lot of people. They're all different religion. They are all different ethnic and different tribe. So the, the most thing you have to do for that people first time is that make sure you make them busy, create the job and try the young man and young woman to find the job and create the job. And again, in some they stop the school, try to ask him, ask them that people, I mean, they go school and the justice have to be for all everybody same and you continue to do to make them trust people we are with the law we are not we are what you want the president when you lead a lot of people within a lot of people the all is not same they have like a different religion different ethnics different like what we say like like a tribe you have to negotiate with that people you have to listen to that people what they want and write it down write it down and you make you notice and take in the office and try speak with the parliament and try to say in that ethnic people or that region what he wants like a amara region like a Tigray region, like a Afar region, like a Somali region, like a Uragi region, everyone, 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 they ask you something, you have to take it and put in your office and put in the parliament and talk to them, say that region they want this and that, what we can do and, and try to find solution, how to make satisfy those people because they're waiting you because you are the prime minister of the utopia you have to bring something that make them happy or that people they're gonna say yes that's we can go with it and we can take that things or we cannot take because the issue is that they can explain to you the problem what it is but dr abby he's not a he's not the kind of man who can respect what the people they need he believe he can go every way, but in part, part, he gonna use in his own power. Or he can he think everything we can make right with the gun, with the tongue, with the plane, and with the killing people. And he started already the first time in having problem with the with the Jawahiri. 
that's mean he's Jawahiri is Oromo and that guy he believe freedom for every region and the region they can choose what they want and can we can the federalists they can see that thing if it's okay if it's okay they can tell them hey it's okay you can use that system but if it's not okay they can explain them that region why this is not okay and why this is not okay and to tell them truth this is because it's not okay because it's gonna make um, damage for our country for our economy for our, our system that is not good you have to explain them that region why it's not good the federal every time they have to be there and negotiate with the, the every region what they need because you now lead just one people you lead like different people different religion and and different ethnic different you know tribes so you have to every time when you lead try to make these people satisfied and try to make them busy try to create a job uh, try to make the infrastructure to make build the house and the road and everything but try to explain them every time the every region what they need but Abby he started killing his own his own people Oromia people Oromia what they need for the long time the only need is a peace and what they want is the freedom and what they want is something they belong to them so that's something that belong to them to explain them how Oromia is for them or it's not not for them or, or this is, is for law you have to sit down and you have to take them in like a seriously what they want and you have to explain them what they want and tell them this is you guys doing everyday war is not gonna work people dying people they're gonna scared people they get the rape people they get killed the child woman and all the people so that is not good for our country you guys for me what you got what what you need what you want what is the best and we sit together and he gonna take the time and we gonna fix it together all this but dr abi ahmed is not the gun it's not it's not that man he believe every time everything in ethiopia we can fix in power i think the power we are now today like if i say the date today we are 8 november 2021 that means powers think his this game is going long time over even america now and you're still in america look america they cannot do war now and seriously with any country because one, they don't have good economy. Two, they don't have a lot of soldiers, but they do have a lot of material how to do war. They have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, the material how to do war. But but I'm telling you the truth, they don't have a power today to do war even in America. So Dr. Abi, he started only do the war and say with the with TPLF and I don't I, 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 I want to stop them in by the power so I don't think so you can stop people by the power every time when you need something before the power these people they they don't have where they go Ethiopia they belong to him like they belong to you so you guys that's me you stay same country you share start you share same bread in that country in they don't know where they go so you guys they must stay together and every time fix it with the tigre what what is gonna be fixable but it's not abby it's not the kind of man who's gonna stay in in and i don't know and who's gonna stay in office in prime minister and he gonna say hey please we can do it we're gonna fix it that i don't believe that and Abi, he don't believe like a democracy. He don't believe like a freedom. He say so a lot of time in democracy and freedom and this, but I don't think so. He believe about democracy, Mr. Doctor, Mr. Abi, and Ahmed Ali. I don't, I don't think so. He believe democracy. This guy, he believe what he want. But I think Ethiopia, they have a law, they have a constitution, they have a parliament, they have everything. So you have to, even you are prime minister, you are, you are number one in that country. You have to, again, believe the country have a law, 
they have constitution they have a like parliament and, and you have a people to they choose you to bring you this power you have to respect him how to go in this but i think when you see that all leader africans leader they are weak because they don't know how to do like in they don't know how to respect in the, the, the constitution the law in the parliament all that they can the must uh, lead african leaders they don't do that and they don't respect that why because they are weak when you weak and you just have a mind saying i'm the power i can do what i want to do that is the problem when you weak so the must african leadership they don't know democracy what it is if you tell them this is wrong this is not this is this is okay they they tell you who tell me to tell you i do what i want to do i'm the number one in power and i choose what i want to do that is that is that that what make all the time the system the african downs and look all the dicta, dictator all the dictator in africa who supported them is it like a european they with them america they with them a lot of country they like African leaders because they're corrupt they kill their own people they put in jail their own people and they don't even make they don't even keep the promise they say when before they don't come in power they say we're gonna do this for all you people we're gonna help a child we're gonna we're gonna create the job we're gonna build the economy when they come to power all that thing is gonna it's not gonna happen in African leader system everything is going to be damaged and that's why that's what what happened like that and when you see now dr abby i don't know if you say now i'm trying to negotiate with the with the tigre or with the oromo i think it's too late they're already close to Addis. so it's the only thing i think is only thing we have to do today is to leave the country and he go where he believe he can survive. If he say I'm gonna stay in the power and I'm gonna die here, anyway they're coming for him. So only way he have today, Doctor Abi, is to say, okay, this is serious. Is enough? I kill a lot of people. Is enough? I make I make jail a lot of people. I put them jail a lot of people. Try just leave that country and go and let, let them people choose what they want in this power again in utopia and they choose the prime minister and they choose the president what they want whatever they believe and just leave but dr everybody make again mistaken here he say his own people civilian and hey guys the tplf they come into a dish in oromo power too or a left was I don't know what the or more power they say everybody everyone I wanted to take like guns and they can they're gonna protect their own city between these people when you primary minister you lead people how you how you give them civilian guns and everything to tell them protect you on your own city and do this and how you think to make civil war more and more and you smart and you know if all civilian detect the guns and everything there's gonna be more problem you you want to make this country like a somalia and try devastate everything and tell them your own people take the guns and protect yourself you Dr. Abi, you here to protect this city and Addis and all Ethiopian and because they trust you and you here to that. If you cannot can to do and handle it to protect them, these people, try and leave the power. Go where you you feel you stay peace. Go that place and leave them alone. But don't tell these people, you own people, hundred and something million people take guns and protect at these and everything it is something impossible and again what we see in media in social media in media in the around the world 
You see, children, they go war with federal government to do war against the TP11 Oromo, the child. How you give them child the guns too to tell them go to do war for me? And Dr. Abby, you take your own family in Europe, in Swiss, you put them, your family, someplace, peace and secure, your family, and you take the children and you tell them go to do war for me. You protect your own family, but you want that another children die for you. Children, man. You become like a, what we call this guy in Liberian guy. What is his name in? Sean Taylor. I don't know what we call that name. Taylor. He put his own people, the child, like 6, 18, and 20. It's not even 20, 17, 16, 13, 6. He give the gun. He told them go to do the war. And they do war child some they die some they killer they become killer in how you you take the microphone you say dr abby please take the guns and protect with these people yourself how that how 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 they can they do this you own people you tell them take take the guns and go to do war for me You have your own soldier, you have your own belief, and you choose to be that way. And please, Mr. Dr. Abby, don't put people on fire. You have your own soldier, put them on fire. You wanna go on fire, go to fire. But you don't you won't stop all this. It's the only way you have. Leave Ethiopia and go someplace you believe you're gonna be secure. And they stop killing innocent women and rape in in in, 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 in Tigray region, and stop again killing child in Tigray region, and stop again killing university young men or Romia to shoot him in the head. They don't even know what is I mean war, and there wasn't in peace, and you killed them. And shoot him in the head. Mr. Dr. Abi, you have to leave this country in Ethiopia, go wherever you want, you believe you are secure. I think it's enough the more people you kill, or mere people, the most of them you kill them, I think it's enough. I think it's okay. But I don't know why you like blood. What you doing? Is never happened in Ethiopia today. Killing innocent people, Oromian people, young men, rape in military region, women, kill them again and do whatever you want. That's what they do, you soldier. I don't think the federal soldier they do that, but this is you on soldier, that's what they're doing. The most that they are, this soldier, you they believe you and you tell them to do this and they do it look what happened in your country maybe 27 country you close the embassy why because your economy is down because you don't have nothing money you cannot even pay for your embassy the bills they have to pay for to continue their job, the, the job they already done before. Look what you make them Ethiopia people. You make them blood, you make them suffer, you make them ethnic by ethnic, you make them go to war, you make them everything. And that, it, it look how much your age is, maybe you 45. You 45 for your age, you young man, Dr. Abi. But you trying suck blood, Ethiopian blood. I'm a 44, I'm from Djibouti, born and raised, but I'm never thinking blood for nobody. I'm trying to make peace to other region. I don't care what they believe. I don't care what the ethnic they are. 
But I care I do. We are all human beings. And we can make right in that region and together and respect the constitution and respect the, the, the country, the law, we, we live and we stay and to respect the peace and everything we can make right in economically and socially. But you started war, killing innocent young men in Oromia. And you started war with the Tigray and rape and kill in family in, in Tigray. And even you stop the all humanitarian and they go like a UN, bring them food and what everything, you close the road. You don't want to give them food and nothing. How can, what kind of man you are? Dr. Abby, what kind of man you are? Man who believe power in such the blood or innocent people. That man you, you are. It's not only you, the most African leaders, they seem like you. Most of them. I cannot share all of them, but the most of them, they're like you. But it's the only way today you have is to leave that country and go the place you believe you secure. If it's not, the Tigray power and Oromo power, they can going to get you anyway. And that day, I don't know what to say. Maybe you can die like a, the president of Libya, Gaddafi. He died like a dog. And saying his own people, please don't kill me, I'm the father. And they tell him, shut up, you are dog. Kelp, eskutia kelp, mutia kelp. That's what they tell him in Arabic language. Shut up, dog. Die, dog. And they kill him till he die. When they catch him in life. Mr. Dr. Uh, Mr. Dr. Abby. I don't know why I tell you even, mister. You are bloody and blood hands. Only I tell you leave that country and go, go, go. I, I tell you many times that. Go where you, you believe you're going to be insecure. And stop killing Oromia young man and woman and suck them their blood for nothing leave i don't know you people they say you oromo i don't think so you oromo because oromo he don't kill oromo and you're still in killing the young man and woman oromia and gplf do war like a man if you do but stop a rape and kill a woman in Tigray and shooting the head and child they don't even know what's going on in that place and i say here for Ethiopian people Ethiopian people i don't know you guys call Ethiopia mother that's you guys right Ethiopia she's the mother and Ethiopia mother, she have to be mother all the time, in any time, in every day, in every night. Ethiopia, she's the mother for you guys. I don't believe the racist people. I'm, you guys know the racist, but the racist people, I don't believe. Don't believe who's Amara. Don't believe who's Tigre. Don't believe who's Oromo. Don't believe who's Uragi in Afar or Somali, etc., etc. Believe you guys, you are Ethiopian. You can make change in peacefully, in economically, and follow the law and be one together for mother of the Ethiopia. And this guy, Abi Mah uh, Ahmed Ali, this guy is not Prime Minister anymore, anymore. He's a black sucker. So this guy have to go. And you guys stay together and make peace and make Ethiopia mother again right. I know everybody in every tribe, they believe something. And that something is not for the war we can make right. We can make right for the state together. 
eat together, drink tea or coffee together and make right. Ethiopia, she's beautiful because of what she have. It's a military culture, it's beautiful, and that's the riches she have is her own, their own people. And I believe you guys, you understand what I say. But to be Ethiopianist means the big things. To believe what you want is what you, you have a right. You can believe what you want, correctly and lowly way. When you follow your law, you believe something, that is going to be all right. But you believe something and you want to suck up the blood and kill people, that is not right. I think God is not power. I think sit down and talk together and believe what we believe and make right. That is the power way. And I say Ethiopian people, and courage, and that means be strong. Everything is going to be ended. And Abi, Dr. Abi must go now. Not tomorrow, not after tomorrow, now. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to me and I hope to your people. And I wish peace and love and for Mother Topia and for you guys too. And inshallah everything is gonna be okay if God will. And I hope and I hope too everything is gonna be okay. But Abby must go today. Thank you so much for giving it for giving to me time to listen to me. And I appreciate it. Assalamu alaikum.